Hey everyone, coming at you with a quick video today going over what we know so far about the new archetype system in Remnant 2. By now you might have seen the post on Steam or even Bolt's video covering the breakdown. Just recently though, we've been given a look at the Gunslinger archetype in the form of a reveal trailer. I figured I'd give my own take on the upcoming system, as well as a very brief comparison of how archetypes worked in the first game versus how they'll be in the sequel. Let's get started. As you know in Remnant 1, your archetype affects your starting gear and extra trait. Outside of those features, they don't really do anything else. Every other piece of gear is still obtainable in the ward, and the other traits can be unlocked on Earth. In the sequel, archetypes will function much differently. While you'll still get a selection of archetypes at the start, your choice will have real weight to it. Archetypes now include skills and perks that are tied to them. Different archetypes will facilitate radically different playstyles and builds around them. Archetypes level up as you use them. Leveling up unlocks various aspects of the archetype, which I'll now go over. Each archetype has a set of three skills, five perks, and a unique trait associated with them. Skills are powerful abilities that use a cooldown system to function. You can swap between them out of combat at no cost. Each one will suit a different situation. Some may be a boost to damage, utility, or healing. Skills will be impactful active use tools for the player to utilize. Timing with them is important to get the best results. Perks, on the other hand, are passive bonuses the archetype has access to. Each archetype has five perks. Prime, Damage, Team, Utility, and Relic. Prime perks are the most defining of the archetype. They feature abilities or mechanics typically not obtainable on any other archetype or piece of gear. Damage perks help boost the player's effectiveness in combat for their type of playstyle. As we can see in the Gunslinger's trailer, their damage boost is a general one to all firearms. Team perks are exactly what you'd expect, abilities that help you and your team. The Gunslinger's team perk grants additional ammo pickup, the amount increases per player, and is evenly split among the team. Additionally, when using an ammo box, ammo pickups are dropped on the ground. Utility perks add some quality of life bonuses to your playstyle. The Gunslinger gains bonus reload speed, which is doubled if the magazine is empty. Finally, there is the Relic perk. This one activates when your Relic, or Dragonheart, is used. These perks give bonuses depending on your archetype's playstyle, whether they be supportive, offensive, or defensive. However, since these abilities are tied to your Relic, you'll have to use the charges wisely and sparingly as you fight. After using a Relic, the Gunslinger has their currently equipped weapon reloaded. They also receive a short duration boost to their ranged damage. The last feature of archetypes is the trait assigned to each one. These traits are unique and gain points for free based on your archetype level. Normally, they are locked to your archetype, but once you've maxed one out, you can level the trait in other archetypes too. It will cost you points though, as you would imagine, which is even more to consider as you can no longer level up every trait at the same time as you could in Remnant 1. This means you'll actually need to make a build out of your traits. I think this is actually a really cool idea, as this allows traits to have more impact individually at the cost of not being able to have literally everything. I actually thought this would be a cool mod for the original game, so it's awesome to see this become a reality in the sequel. Back on topic though, eventually down the line, you'll be able to equip two archetypes at the same time, effectively making a class. You'll have access to both sets of skills, perks, and traits. The only exception, as the page mentions, is the prime perk. Depending on how you slot your archetypes, the first becomes the prime archetype, or so to speak. The second archetype will not have its prime perk activated. So if the Gunslinger is equipped in the first slot, you will have the passive reload on skill activation, but if it was equipped in the second slot, this would not be the case. The other caveat is that bonuses such as reduced cooldowns and effectiveness of skills will only be applied to the prime archetype's abilities. On top of all of this, you'll also get a unique name for your class, depending on what you have equipped and in which order. Overall, the archetype system is shaping up to be an amazing addition for Remnant 2. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of the other archetypes down the line. Also, it looks like that dog character we saw from the trailer is going to be an archetype. I hope that one gets covered next. What are you most looking forward to from the archetype system? I'd love to discuss the possibilities for archetypes and their impact in build making with all of you. I'll be sure to cover any more news that comes out regarding Remnant 2 in the coming weeks. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.